Our winter here has been incredibly mild across the Great Lakes, and all you got to do is look at one of the Great Lakes, like Lake Ontario here, relatively ice-free. There's new research out of York University that suggests that this may become the norm. Our Great Lakes, no ice. There are some lakes that are going to be becoming permanently ice-free, about a few hundred under if we have modest carbon emission scenarios. But under our business as usual, if we continue emitting the way we are now, it could be a few thousand lakes, or at least over 5,000 lakes that might be um, become permanently ice-free within a few decades. And so that's something that's a little shocking or a little, a little jarring to know. It's hard to argue with the data. The planet is warming, and it's warming rapidly. The last 10 years have easily been the warmest 10 years on record as a whole. And this is impacting the ice coverage on the big lakes right here at home. We're reaching levels, minimums, that we really haven't seen in the past. I mean, if you go back into the early 1980s, it was very unusual for the maximum ice coverage on all the Great Lakes together to be about 25%. Most of the time, it was a lot higher than that. But as we look past the last 20 years, that number is much more regularly going below 20%. That indicates that the winters, while still cold, are not as cold as they have been in the past. Here's why that's important. For biological reasons, where having lake ice keeps the water more regulated, which helps fish populations, it has a lot of human impacts. We rely on fresh water for drinking, and if it, the water quality degrades because of lack of lake ice cover, that would be bad for us. We rely on it for ice fishing. A lot of recreation activities occur during there. A lot of communities that are reliant on income based on these um, recreational activities. So if we lose any of that, we could have large impacts both in the economy, human populations, and then the natural system itself. While we may not run out of drinking water anytime soon, this research suggests it may be compromised. If um, we do lose more and more ice cover, that it would also translate into increased algal blooms. It's probably going to take more energy and more resources to be sure that water is clean before people drink it. So what can we do to fend this off? The experts say reduce our carbon emissions drastically. Near the shores of an ice-free Lake Ontario, Adam Stiles, City News.